Now to the Capitol riot investigation. Public hearings resume this week, and tonight one of the two Republicans on the committee, Congressman Adam Kinzinger, says the actions of former President Trump may rise to the level of criminal involvement in the January 6th insurrection. Our new ABC News Ipsos poll shows a majority of Americans believe Trump bears significant responsibility for events and should be prosecuted. And the new evidence a committee member says they will present in the next hearings. Here's ABC's White House correspondent, Mary Alice Parks. With three of seven hearings down and two more scheduled this week, tonight the big question, will the January 6th Select Committee's findings lead the Department of Justice to bring any criminal charges? I certainly think the president is guilty of knowing what he did, seditious conspiracy, being involved in these, you know, kind of different segments of pressuring DOJ, vice president, et cetera. Obviously, you know, we're not a criminal uh, charges committee, so I want to be careful in specifically using that language. But I think what we're presenting before the American people certainly would rise to a level of criminal involvement by a president and definitely failure of the oath. 58% of Americans in our new ABC Ipsos poll believe Donald Trump should be criminally prosecuted for his role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Staff and his allies could be in jeopardy, too. At the request of the Justice Department, the committee could turn over transcripts of all of their witness interviews as early as July. Many close to Trump testifying they told the former president before January 6th that Mike Pence could not overturn the election. The committee sharing Trump had been advised that, in fact, it would violate the law. Still, the committee says the former president engaged in a pressure campaign, criticizing Pence as the mod drew at the Capitol for not, quote, having the courage to do what was needed to be done. An attack he continued Friday over a year and a half later. Mike Pence had a chance to be great. He had a chance to be, frankly, historic. But Mike did not have the courage to act. This week, the committee says they plan to show how President Trump also pressured state officials, like in this phone call when he asked Georgia Secretary of State to find votes. All I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. And detail a plan to have state legislatures send their own representatives to Washington to vote in the Electoral College for Trump. Yes, we'll show evidence of the president's involvement uh, in this scheme. The committee trying to draw that straight line to the former president. Mary Alice Parks joins us now. And Mary Alice, we heard Congressman Schiff there with a preview of what the committee will present this week. What else are you learning? Yeah, Lindsay, we know that Secretary of State, Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and his top deputy, Gabe Sterling, who were on the other end of that call with Trump, are expected to testify. We're also expecting a second hearing this week focused on what was happening at the Justice Department. The committee says that Trump was looking for people there who would elevate his conspiracy theories after he lost. Lindsay.